I actually haven't been out in the ocean on the east side yet. There's a leads. And of course we get ganked by the sharks. No surprise there. And <laughs> I got an alpha. That's lovely. Welcome back, everybody, to Ark Survival Evolved on the Fjorder map. I'm an old guy. Give me the end in this episode. We're going to go tame ourselves a basilosaur. Hopefully it's still there. Has been killed or swam off. Um, and then, depending upon how our time goes, we might uh, try and hit that cave, uh, too. Now, let me just kind of get you updated real quick on the critters here. As you can see, the yard is a lot cleaner now. I have um, trained up all of my uh, Raxes and about half of my Therizinas. Uh, so all these guys still, and you still need to take them out and, uh, you know, get them leveled up. And and I explained in the last video, I think it was, I'm considering these dinos leveled when they reach 2,000 melee. Um, and so, you know, once they hit 2,000 melee, I, I know they still have some points after that, but uh, once they hit 2,000, then I'm considering them ready to go, you know, for boss fights. The other thing to keep in mind, too, is this first batch of dinos that I have, both Rexes and the Therizinos, are not. Uh, you know, are not our best dinos because we're currently working on, you know, getting mutations uh, and making dinos stronger, which we are slowly doing. So all of these Rexes here have uh, a melee mutation and a weight mutation. I know the weight itself doesn't matter, but I'm taking it anyways because why the hell not, right? Um, so they all have uh, at least one melee, and I have a Rex in here that actually has two. Uh, let's see here. You or you? Yeah, you. So this this Rex has two health mutations, which is really good. Um, and so she's going to become our new uh, breeder, you know, once we once we get that far. Uh, so as you can see, I moved the critters into the barn here. I've, I've started, you know, breeding them and uh, have a new batch of also mutated uh, Argentavises over here. Uh, some have health, some have weight. Uh, so I got rid of the uh, the earlier batch. Uh, all of the old Therizinos that I had uh, are the ones that are lined up along the fence out there. So we still have our father with a health and melee mutation. And then this this little guy I forgot to name, but it's in my spreadsheet. Um, this one has, I think, a health and a uh, melee as well. In fact, if we look at you, you got uh, 38 and 38, and you are... 38 and 38 yeah so 38 health and 38 melee on the points uh, those are mutations because those were not in our original uh therizinos uh, so now i have a, a pair uh a male and a female that both have that mutation so things are coming along pretty good having fun with the breeding uh all of these quetzals out here except for our purple winged melee mutated father are going to be pulled out of the line because we have some new females that are um, currently in the incubator that will replace uh, them. So anyway, uh, yes, yeah, so we got things cleaned up around here. Um, I'll get these guys taken out and leveled uh, later on. Uh, but we have in our inventory, we've got some uh, exceptional kibble. We've got uh, a couple of Androsarchus. So we've got uh, Circus and we've got Andrea. Uh, and Andrea is my only female uh, aside from our breeder, of course, which I don't want to take out. Um, so she's coming along for the ride, mostly for the mate boost, even though Jackson here is actually stronger than Andrea. But I'm not taking him because he's still, uh, you know, I, I had him out earlier. So he's trying to get some of his health back. Uh, but he's uh, he's coming along, too. Uh, you know what? I was going to actually make some advanced rifle ammo to take and use in the turret. So I think I'll actually do that, and I'm going to have to learn that because uh, I don't actually know the advanced. Oh, okay, wait a minute. It's advanced. There we go, advanced rifle bullet. So let's learn those, and I'm going to uh, whoop up a few batches of those so we can take them with us and actually use them uh, in the, the turret for the, uh, for the Androsarchus. Uh, and then we'll take Dracula version 2 with us. Uh, I've also gone through and, um, you know, cold my older uh, Desmodus and have have the best ones 
uh, that we're using now. So, in fact, you got some points too. Let's put, let's just put all those in the melee. So yeah, I'm gonna get that ammo made up, and then I will meet you guys over uh, where the Bassy is. It's way over to the east, um, right about 35. Uh, 35 and 95, 35, 95, right in that area. And so uh, I'll see you guys over there and we'll get ourselves a bassy. All right, guys, I'm back. Uh, we're still at the base, as you can see here. Uh, I made several uh, stacks of advanced rifle bullet ammo. And I also made a pretty nice ascendant assault rifle. Uh, we have a blueprint for that in here that uh, Mythical actually found. Uh, so, yeah, it's a 340.6% damage assault rifle, so that's pretty nice. So I figured, well, since we're going to have all this advanced ammo, we might as well make that rifle too. Uh, but the other thing I've been wanting to do, or meaning to do for a while, and I just haven't gotten around to it, is put a couple oil wells down because we don't have our Dunkleostis anymore. I might get another one because they are so good at getting oil and uh, metal underwater, but I don't have one right now. And so uh, I'd like to go ahead and make myself um, an oil well. Um, so tech, I, I think we just, yeah, we're not quite ready to do the tech stuff yet. Oh, which reminds me, um, I did go into the, the cave and got the artifact of the something or other. <laughs> Can you be a little more vague? Uh, artifact of the immune. Uh, so this guy here. Um, I got a little bit of footage from that cave, but to be honest with you, it wasn't that big of a deal. You, you just go into the cave, you grab it, you go out, you fight a couple animals, and that's it. Um, but I did find also, uh, where did I put that stuff? I also, I also found a whole bunch of these red crystals that when I harvested, they gave me element shards. Um, and I, I know that you can use these to turn them into actual element, but I think we need, I believe we need the, the tech generator first or something, um, that we're not quite there yet. But, uh, when we fight... Bela for the first time I think you get like 30 element for defeating her and then we could potentially you know farm her too at some point all right so there's a couple of oil uh oil wells whatever <laughs> um in Vardaland but over to the east so let's make a couple of these and if we look on the map well yeah I've got that stupid gilly Thing going on here if we look at the map it's kind of over at 66 38 ish uh in that area i have seen them uh multiple times when i've just been flying by so i, I don't think i'll have any trouble finding them but i figured you know since that's sort of kind of on the way anyway we might as well stop by there and put those in place hopefully i'm very heavy right now uh, but hopefully we can be okay on uh, Dracula here. Um, in fact, you know what we could do? We could actually teleport. Yeah, why don't we do that? Let's um, let's land here. And what we'll do is we'll just teleport to Bartoland. Uh, uh, no, Bartoland. We want to go Bartoland north eastish. Yeah, let's try that and see if that gets us pretty close and then we can just fly the rest of the way. All right, so yeah, we need to go this direction. That teleporting around the map business is, is so handy, I have to say. Um, it almost feels kind of cheaty, but you know, hey, if it's built into the map, and this is an official map anyways, official DLC map, 
Then who am I to question it? We might as well use it and make use of it. So we'll get uh, up to where I think they are, and then we'll have to probably get the GPS out to to find them if I can't find them directly. But they're somewhere up in this area. Uh, like I said, I've seen them more than one time when I've been over here. Um, they might, they might be up here. Let's just go up here and see. We got a rune too, but, eh, what the hell, we'll grab it. Yeah, right here. There's one right there, and I think there should be another one right up on this, uh, in this area too. Might as well take advantage of the, this XP. Uh, yeah, it's right there. Okay, cool. down all right cool so we got a couple oil wells down um, you know of course there's more places on the map you can put these but these are the these are the closest to our base but you know again with the teleporting ability probably doesn't really matter all that much and now what we want to do is we want to go to Eastern Vanaland, Vanaland East. And then we want to go, yeah, we just want to go East. So if we go Northeast, it's probably going to put us up in the Redwoods, which is a little too far North. I hope that bass is still there. It's been a couple of, of days in real life since uh, I was over there last. Um, I don't think anybody else has been on the server but me. It's pretty much mostly just me. My son-in-law plays on occasion. Um, Joe and Mythical haven't been on at all in the last few weeks. They've been busy with real life stuff. So, um, you know, so there hasn't been a dino wipe or anything like that. So hopefully it's still there. Yeah, we are. <laughs> We're still in the Redwoods. In fact, we're right by Joe's house. Look at that. Joe's base. Okay, well, it's not too far this way. Okay, so this is where it was, kind of in this inlet here. Um, I am not spotting it, though. So we might have to go... We'll have to get down into the water and go looking for it, I guess. Which we can do. Oh no, there it is. It's still there. Cool, okay. Well, let's uh, land on this beach over here, then. Well, I mean, I'm assuming that's it. It is a Bastosaur, so likely it's the right one. You're all healed, right? Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, there's nothing here we absolutely need to keep. Because I'm going to cryo the bat while we go underwater. I need to get a Fjord, Fjordhawk... Um, tamed too, but I'm not going to do that right now. Uh, we got more important things to worry about. But I know that uh, having one is super useful because of, it gets you your stuff back. So all we have to do for the Bassie, in case there are some of you who may not know, is it's, it's got a bunch of uh, rays around it that we got to kill, which we'll be easily be able to do with the Sarka, uh, Ender Sarkis. And then it's just a passive tame feed with exceptional kibble, and I've already found this uh, Basilosaurus saddle, pretty nice one as a matter of fact, uh, in a drop at some point. I don't remember exactly when, but at some point. Okay, so let's put you on neutral. Um, I'm going to put this on. Uh, actually, I'm just going to put all of my scuba gear on just so... Uh, 
if and when, well, we will have to get out of the Sarkis to do the taming. Okay, so he's still over there. I think that's a, is it a he or she? I can't remember. It is, uh, it's a 130 male. Okay, so that's not bad. It's not the best, but it's certainly not the worst either. It's good enough, we'll put it that way. Um, there's not, there's like only one ray next to it. This is a, a relatively safe place to be doing this too. Um, you know what? I think I want Andrea to stay on uh, passive because I don't want to accidentally damage the bassy. But we got to get these uh, rays away from it. Okay, we got one. The other one. Oh no, there's there's two more. Okay. Okay, we got that one. Usually they attack you when you attack one of them, but that other guy's being a chicken. He knows he's gonna get munched on. wasn't high enough. I guess we could try and... Okay, how do we use the gun on this? Okay, so po supposedly I'm supposed to press control and then... Ah! Okay. There we go. Okay. So it's, it's a toggle off and on. And it looks like we have 180 degrees of a range too. Okay, that's cool. All right. So, anyway, let's get back to the business at hand here. Make sure all of the rest of the nasties are away from the basilosaur. I think those are just normal fish. No, there's a couple more rays that came back. And it's so damn dark down here. You know what? I'm going to turn my camera light off because it glares on the screen. So hopefully it doesn't screw up my green screen, but this is more important. Okay. Um, circus, get the hell out of the way. Oh, damn it. Oh, I'm supposed to be on Andrea. It doesn't matter. Andrea, Andrea. One of my, the people I work with, her name is Andrea, but everybody calls her Andrea and she gets all mad. <laughs> Don't blame her though. I mean, it's her, if your name's Andrea, then that's what she should be called. Uh, all right. Get out of the way, bass. It is so cool that I can use this underwater. There we go. I mean, if nothing else, it was good for pulling them away. Nice. So that got it 32% uh, tamed. Oh, shit. You know what? I could uh, I could do the elixir thing. Completely didn't think about that, except for... All right, here. Let's go... I tossed all that blood out, too, didn't I? Oh, we can get some more. Close and consume this. Why can't I consume that? Uh, do I have to be looking at him? Here, let's put it on the on the hot bar. I tried to do this with the, with the Quetzal once, and it wouldn't let me. So maybe you can't. Hmm. All right, you know what? Whatever. It's not going to take that long to tame it, so. But yeah, it's not letting me uh, consume it, even though I'm obviously taming that thing. So I don't know what the deal is. Okay, well, I'll bring you guys back when uh, the bassy is fully tamed up or something crazy happens between now and then. Hopefully I won't.
At least I hope it won't. You guys probably do, but I hope it won't. All right. We'll call this one Basil, because that's super original. <laughs> we got ourselves a Bassy. Beautiful. Uh, all right. Let's get the saddle on it and mount up. Very cool. Okay, so, um, why don't we take it for a spin? I, I can already tell it's going to need some stamina. And also, we need to tell the sarcasses to follow, uh, let's see, behavior follow I. Because you're getting raw, all up in my business here. Okay. All right, let's take it for a spin. I actually haven't been out in the ocean on the east side yet. There's a leads. And of course, we get ganked by the sharks. No surprise there. And, oh shit, <laughs> I got an alpha. That's lovely. Um, I'd kind of rather be in the Sarkis for this. Can I get them to attack? Well, I was going to say attack the Alpha specifically, but the Alpha's getting bloody, so I think we're okay. Yeah, we got it. Okay, good. Whew. A little bit concerned there for a moment. Whew. Okay. Making me a little nervous, man. Um... We got 10 points. Did that alpha drop anything uh, on the ocean floor? I'm just looking around before I dismount. Um, okay. So damn dark. All right. Let's see if Circus has anything. He doesn't have any alpha stuff. Let's just dump all of this crap. Well, actually, hold on. Let's keep these. Yeah, I was, I, I was just, just a tiny, tiny bit nervous. There. Hey, look, there's another bassy. Oh, oh, it's just a manta ray. Uh, that's a twenty male. No, that is not worth messing with at all. Um, where's Andrea? Ah, uh, she got the she got the stuff. Okay. Oops. Here, come here, Basil. Okay, that's fine. As long as she has it, she can keep it. Okay, so what we're gonna do? Let's kill this damn ray first. Uh, what we're gonna do is, yeah. See, this is cool because they make their own oil, which is very useful. Uh, I want to keep some meat in there for healing. We don't need all that shit. Okay, let's go kill this lead Sithkus. Because A, I hate him, and B, he'll give us some prime fish. fish. It's a beautiful thing. Okay, so for points, um, you have almost 20,000 health. Let's get your health up to 30. Well, okay, 34. Um, and then you really need some stamina. So we're going to give you that much stamina. <laughs> and then, then, we'll, then we'll need to put some points into melee after that. Okay, cool. All right, let's go kill this low-level bassy just because um, 
Uh, hopefully a better one will spawn for us later. Let me just double check. You're just the level 20, right? Yeah, okay. Plus we'll get more oil or lever or something from what I don't remember. kill on my bass and not have the sarcuses help us because so we get more points because I think we get more points I'm pretty sure we do. rays are such a pain in the ass. Alright, I don't expect we can go too far out this way. Well, maybe we can go a little ways. Um... Okay, so let's put this in, uh, let's actually give him one more point. I'd like to get him a little over 1,500, and then we'll start putting stuff in melee damage. Oh, Basilisk Blubber. That's a trophy. Okay, gotcha. All right, let's see how far this, oh, wait, no, I was going to say, did we just run into the Visqueen already? Let's see how far we can go this way. You guys are coming, right? Oh, no, we're in the Visqueen. Okay. Yeah, there isn't really much deep sea on this map. Now, there's all the water in the bay, of course, which we haven't, you know, we haven't explored all of that yet. In fact, I haven't really explored any of it. I've mostly just been in the ocean out in front of Vardaland. Um, But, you know, it's not like the island that has, or, or Ragnarok that has in the center that has these massive oceans. This does go down kind of deep. Let's just go... Down and see what's down here. Maybe we can find some some of those uh, uh, whatever those damn things are that have the black pearls that sting you. Can't think of what their names are at the moment. Um, I heard that the gas mask actually. Are we in the Visqueen? Yeah, uh, helps you helps you see you like really clear underwater. So we should test that theory. Yeah, you know, the stamina is still... I think I'm going to get the stamina up to 2,000 before we start worrying about melee. I mean, we got the two Androsarcuses with us, so it's not like we don't have good firepower anyway. And I probably will always have them with me when I'm in the ocean just because they're so damn handy. You ripped it. That's the name of those things that I couldn't think of. Yeah, the guys who get the black pearls. Uh, there is... Oh, uh, angle, anger, angler fish. That's what... I need to get one of those, um... You guys were saying the... There we go. You ripped it. The creatures that, um... They're in the... A aberrant cave, you know, like the, they have the lights on them. You were telling me that those can give you light underwater, so we should investigate that. Yeah, come after me, you little bastard eels. You can't do a damn thing on them, the sore. Get what you deserve. Uh, Nidera's, yeah, you can come on over too. I'd be glad to take your biotoxin. That's why we have this creature, man. Uh, they can't dismatch on the Androsarcuses either, which is super useful. I need to get around here so I can... There we go. I wanted to harvest the biotoxin. Okay, let's get these jellies. Yeah, man, without this... Well, I guess I should say without these two creatures, the Androsarcus and the Bassy, this would be a freaking death sentence coming down here. I don't know of any other sea creatures that can withstand the... the Nideria in particular, but the eels kind of suck too. 
I remember when Wildcard first added the Nidaria to the game in the Eels. Uh, oh, there's another Bassy. And at that time, I don't think we had the Bassy uh, is at the same exact time that they released it. Maybe we did. I don't remember, but uh, that's a tw another 20. Yeah, we got to kill it. Um, and it was, you know, it was bad. I, 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 I was on uh, the Valhalla map, and it took me hours to tame a, uh, a really nice Mosasaur. I took it out, and I lost it to them damn eels. So it was just unbelievably frustrating. Bassies are so tanky. That's another thing that makes them such good creatures to have. Okay, well, looks like there's another bassie up there. So, looks like it's the east coast that you come to for the bassosaurs. I mean, I haven't seen them anywhere else, but like I said, I haven't been all over the place yet either, so... Here they come. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Just destroyed them. Okay, now, what level is this bass? It's a 55 female. Hmm, that's kind of low, you know? I mean, we could start with it, I guess. How much? I still have... Yeah, that should be more than enough to tame a 55. Why don't we grab her? Because, you know, we can start the breeding process, and if we luck out all the, you know, the... High stats will be on the first baby. It probably won't, but it's possible. And we can keep trying until we come across a, you know, a higher level female. Or, or you know, eventually get all the good stats bred onto the babies. So, since this is going to be an easy peasy lemon squeezy thing, no more nasties around, right? Let's do it. And then I'll just, I'll probably just... Yeah, we, we just need to give her two, and she'll, she's good. I'll probably just cryo her. And uh, we need to wrap up this episode here pretty quick. Anyways, it's getting late. I'm tired. Uh, there we go. There we go. All right. Everybody with me? Okay. We're going to have to... Uh, Pot up um, Basil too. Because I'm just going to. Well, actually, can I. No, I can't teleport. Because I don't think teleports go into the water. Where are we at? Oh, okay. Yeah, I know where we are. We're not. Uh, we're actually pretty close to the Aberration Cave. We should run in there real quick and just do the. Um, grab the loot. So, okay, so I'm going to get her potted up, get all this inventory crap taken care of, and then I'll meet you guys inside of the Aberration Cave. Okay, let's run in here and check the loot crates. Looks like we just have some Arthopleras here. See what we got here. Ascendant Uteran. Ooh, nice. That's a blueprint too, so that's gonna come in handy for our boss fights and then a parasaurus. Okay, that was worth the price of admission right there. Yes, indeed it was. Okay, um There's a couple of the crab thingies over this way. Yeah, let's go back the other way. I don't think I need to worry about them, but. We'll play it safe. So I guess you guys were saying like the shine horns or something. Um, can provide us light underwater. I'll have to, I don't know. I've never tamed one of those. I've never played Aberration, right? So I don't know how all that works. I'll have to research it. But it is so damn dark on the water that that would be nice to be able to do. <laughs> what, the, <laughs> what the hell's up with that? That's funny. Here's, there's one there. I guess, I don't know. What do you? I'll have to look it up. I have no idea how to tame those guys. They're probably a passive tame, would be my guess. 
Look at them though, they're kind of cute, aren't they? All right, I'm probably gonna have a, yeah, pack of Ravagers. Coming, Andrea. All right, let's uh, have a little bit of fun with these guys. That will soften them up at least. All right, what do we got? Ascendant Megalodon blueprint and a blueprint for a miner's helmet. Okay, that's kind of cool. Have a miner's light. All right, guys. Well, that's going to wrap up this episode here. It was a successful uh, tame of the Basilosaur. And uh, we actually got two of him, two of them. And I'll, you know, I'll get started with the breeding process, of course. And uh, update you guys on how that goes. Uh, but if I do, you know, if I do come across a high-level female, I'm going to nab it because they're just, they're pretty easy to tame. The taming itself is not bad. It's just you know, keeping other nasty things out of the way in the process is the tricky part about it. But uh, we can manage that, I think. And um, let's tentatively plan for the next episode to go through the cave for the Artifact of the Strong. Um, and then after that, I think we're going to take our first shot at Bela, the Bee Boss. So, with that being said, thank you everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch y'all in the next episode. Bye-bye.